is the InnovaBuzz podcast, helping smart businesses be even more innovative. Hi, I'm Jürgen Strauss from InnovaBiz. Welcome to episode number 88 of the InnovaBuzz podcast, designed to help smart businesses with an interest in innovation and modern marketing become even more innovative. 88 is a very auspicious number for our Chinese friends, very lucky. And I hope that what I'm going to announce today will also be very lucky for all my listeners as well as an auspicious occasion. Today is going to be a fairly short episode. I wanted to introduce you today to a special series that I plan to broadcast in every alternate episode from now on. Over the past three years, I've had the privilege of interviewing accomplished entrepreneurs from around the world on the InnovaBuzz podcast and often spending more than an hour with each one learning about them, about their business, about what motivates them, about what they believe and ultimately about their keys to success. I feel this is a great privilege for me because every episode is like a masterclass with that expert and that really can't be measured in dollar value. That's absolutely invaluable because spending an hour with that person on a coaching call would no doubt cost thousands of dollars. And of course, I'm also incredibly privileged to share that interview with my audience. Recently, I've been listening to some of the very first podcast interviews that I did And I was reminded what fantastic information they contain and was amazed that I learned a lot in listening again to those interviews. Of course, the very early interviews, I cringed at my own voice and what I was doing. So I have improved quite a bit. That's one of the learnings. But there were some amazing contributions by the guests from those days. In episode 80 of the InnovaBuzz podcast, I reflected on a visit to a Vincent van Gogh exhibition and how van Gogh's body of work, his beliefs, his approach to his work, where he derived his inspiration from, all seemed to me like a metaphor for marketing. That inspired that particular episode, episode 80, but it also prompted a nagging itch in my mind that I should make more of the idea of using metaphors to illustrate business principles. But how? And what should I do? About eight months ago, I moved my office into a larger room and put up a number of whiteboards on the many walls that I now had available to me. I love those whiteboards and have been writing and drawing on them almost daily. In fact, I wish I had more whiteboard space as I'm really reluctant to rub things off. I don't like erasing stuff. I like to write it up, but I don't like erasing stuff. I guess I should use the camera on the phone a lot more to capture my scribblings and then rub it off and keep drawing. Now, one of the first things I wrote on a corner of one of the whiteboards were the words, model the masters. I don't remember where those words came from or what inspired me to write them. All I know is that they have been on that whiteboard for months and I look at them often and think to myself, who can I learn from today? Who is a good model? What do they have that I want? What do they get that I want? Who are they being so that they can do what they do and get what they get? So I thought, well, Model the Masters is something I wrote up there because it's a reminder to me to keep learning from people that are successful. Then recently, the last piece of the jigsaw fell into place. Somewhere in the unconscious channels of my mind and a concrete idea came to me while I was out riding my bike alone. Now that's a time when I often get such ideas, but that's a story for another time. The idea is to use Model the Masters as a title for a series of podcast episodes. And in those episodes, I'll explore what I've learned from the interviews with my guests on the InnovaBuzz podcast in some greater depth and give you my perspective on what makes that master successful. Of course, 
The purpose is that we all learn from that master by modelling what they do. Why modelling? Well, as humans, we're always seeking to understand things and often we're hamstrung in taking action because we haven't yet understood something. We use the need to understand and the fact that we haven't understood yet as an excuse not to do whatever it is that we should be doing to achieve the result that we want to have. And as a result, we don't get any results. Yet think back to when you were a young child. Did you understand the biomechanics of the human body before you started walking? Of course not. You watched older children and you watched adults walking. You tried to copy what they did. You fell over many times and perhaps you even hurt yourself. But you got up again and you kept copying what the successful walkers did until you too mastered the art of walking. Once you were competent at walking without falling and confident, you developed your own style and perhaps you even explored other ways of walking such as running, jumping, hurdling and so on. At that point, you began to understand more about the strategy of walking, about the mechanics of walking and you could bring that understanding into trying out different things. But the first thing you started with is modelling those people that were successful and that's what got you walking in the first place. Children learn to talk in exactly the same way, emulating those sounds they hear others making. Soon, they too are talking, well before they learn about the structure of language, about grammar rules, and how to spell words and write sentences. Modelling is by far the most effective and fastest way to learn anything. So why not apply the concept of modelling to learning from the amazing and successful entrepreneurs that I've had the privilege of interviewing. So that's the background to Model the Masters. From episode 90 of the Innova Buzz podcast, every alternate episode will be a Model the Masters episode where I study one of our guests as a model. I'll focus on interpreting their beliefs, their motivation, their physiology, their thought processes and strategies that underlie their special skills and behaviour how they achieve the outcomes that they do. My objective is that this can become one tactic in a process of recreating excellence. In dissecting the success of our model, then taking action to emulate what works, what works really well, and what serves our own particular situation really well, I'm expecting that we'll be inspired to be awesome and achieve excellence. Basically, if we want to have what the model has, in other words, success in some particular area, then we do what the model does, and we need to be like the model. The first Model of Masters episode is going to be episode 90 in two weeks' time. Now, the first featured master is a complete surprise, largely because I haven't yet decided who, and therefore I don't even know who that will be myself. So you'll have to tune in to episode 90 in two weeks' time to find out who the first master is that we are going to model. Just to summarise then, model the masters. Emulating someone who has achieved what you want to achieve is the fastest, most effective and powerful way to have what they have and achieve your goals now. Now next week, to balance up this short episode, we've got a longer episode planned for you. My guest is going to be Phil Singleton, one of the co-authors, along with John Janch, of SEO for Growth. That's a fantastic episode with a lot of hugely valuable information about marketing through your website, through the search engines, through the information and content that you share with your audience. So I promise you that's going to change your outlook on SEO and how you approach it. So keep a look out for that one coming up in one week's time. That will be episode 89. I'm really excited to produce these Model of Masters episodes and I hope you too are looking forward to them. Now today's episode, the show notes 
will be at innovabiz.com.au forward slash 88. That's the number 88, the very auspicious and lucky number. I'd love you to leave comments on the post and tell us what you like about the model, the master's concept, and what you'd like to see it develop into. If you haven't already done so, please head on over to iTunes and subscribe to the Innova Buzz podcast so you'll never miss a future episode. In fact, while you're there, we'd love to have a review from you and feedback as well. It really helps us to rank better and spread our message. Now, I know Apple make it really hard to leave a review unless you have an iPhone, and that is frankly really annoying because I don't have an iPhone. But for all you non-iPhone people, please persevere. I really appreciate every single review I get and the feedback, and we take all feedback on board and decide whether it adds value to all of our audience. So I do appreciate your contribution. If there's anything you'd like us to cover or questions you want answered on a future Innova Buzz podcast or guests you'd like us to interview or indeed even feature as a master, please send those ideas to us. Until next time, I'm Jürgen Strauss from Innova Biz. Be awesome and keep innovating. <music>